Hi, I'm Cyan Noodle. I'm going to say some triggering things, I'm sure, so please don't watch this if you are easily triggered. We finally did the Beck Depression Inventory. It's the list of 21 questions, and we've been trying to do this thing for over a week as a system. Um, a, a lot of the noodles didn't know how to answer if they didn't feel this way, but they knew that I felt this way. They knew I was depressed. They knew I'm holding the depression, that I'm holding the majority of the depression, and that I'm I'm holding it, and, and Indigo is helping me hold it. It's helping me get through it. <laughs> We're in this together. I'm in the water, and he's my boat. <laughs> That's the way I like to say it. Like, I'm, I'm the one drowning, but every once in a while, he will help me to the boat. And then I'll fall off the boat, and then I'm back to drowning, and then he helps me back up, and then it's just a never-ending cycle. And so Indigo and I would really like some help with this area, and that's why we are seeking um, professional help from the neuropsychiatrist and therapy. And we did look into medication um, for the last year was the last time we were on medication. And um, we, we want to try a different route because we've been on meds for the majority of our time being married from 2007 until 2019 um, off and on trying different medications and not being very consistent because not all of us need medication so we don't all agree on medication so it's hard for us to take medication when it affects so many and yeah anyways we're gonna just read our answers for the Beck depression um, inventory so that we're kind of following up on uh, that video and that video um, was extra extra long and probably broken up into a couple videos if I remember correctly because we were all trying to answer our own answers on the depre depression inventory and a lot of us have some of these but um, I hold the majority of them so that's why we asked the doctor if we could fill out different ones, and he said he'd rather have one. So the therapist agreed that maybe there should just be one noodle that answers these. But that didn't stop them from writing their names on there. They wanted, they wanted to be recognized that they feel this way too. It's not just Cyan. Okay, so the first question is um, about feeling sad. I do not feel sad. I feel sad. I am sad all the time or I'm so sad and unhappy that I can't stand it and that is a level three from zero to three that's the worst one you could score that's the one I scored ourselves with because I feel like I am so sad and unhappy that I can't stand it and then uh, the second question is um, about being discouraged about the future and I did the worst one again I feel the future is hopeless and things cannot improve uh, number three, it's talking about feeling like a failure. I did number two. Number two is, I, as I look back on my life, I can see lots of failures. Because I do see that we have some good things going for us. I am not completely oblivious to our positive traits. Um, but I can look back and see a bunch of failures. All right, the next question, number four, is about getting satisfaction. And I selected two which is I don't get real satisfaction out of anything anymore. So again, these are scales 0, 1, 2, or 3. 3 being the worst, 2 being not as bad as the worst, and of course 0 being not at all, and 1 being mild. But ours is a 2. Um, so that says I don't get real satisfaction out of anything anymore. And then number 5 is about feeling guilty. And we wrote that... We are feeling guilty quite 
most of the time. Again, that's at a two. And then number six, I don't feel like I'm being punished um, per se. I don't think I'm the one being punished. I feel like I'm just responding. Um, so Indigo feels like he's the one being punished. So he wrote his name next to it. And Maroon does too. So Indigo and Maroon feel like they are the ones being punished. And I do feel like I'm um, responding to that punishment. So I might guess that mine is, I feel, I maybe, I don't know. I feel it's a hard question to answer because I don't feel like I'm being punished. I feel like I'm just responding to their punishment. Yeah, I'm responding, like kind of like watching someone get hurt and you're responding to their punishment. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the best way to answer that for me. If I could explain that to the doctors, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to. I think I just turn in the paperwork and we'll see what happens, right? That's what stinks about these scales. You don't get to talk to anybody. Okay, so number seven about disappointment in the self, in, in myself. I wrote, I'd only put one. One is I am disappointed in myself. I don't hate myself and I'm not disgusted with myself. So I did one. I am disappointed in myself. Um, I also have the other names off to the right. It says red feels this way. Maroon feels this way. Um, indigo feels this way. So we are not the only ones that feel. I'm not the only one that feels disappointed in myself. And then we also wrote number two for the next one, which is, um, I blame myself all the time for my faults, which I guess is better than feeling like we are to blame for other people's faults. Like I know Teal, I should write that on there. Teal feels like she is at fault every time a husband does something wrong. But that's not the one we answered, since I'm the one answering. We're not asking about till. Oh, I have such a hard time answering these things. Okay, um, the next one is, I don't have any thoughts of killing myself. No, that's not true. That's just the first thing that it says. Did you see how I dissociated there for a second? I wasn't really, I wasn't wanting to look at that one. I only put down one. I have thoughts of killing myself, but I know I would not carry them out. And the one that really holds that for us is black and white noodle, where I'm responding to what black and white noodle is doing and saying at that time. And because he's not around right now, and that question popped up, and I completely didn't read the thing correctly. So anyways, number 11. Um, I, I have the worst one circled here, which is I feel irritated all the time, you know, about feeling irritated, slightly irritated or quite more irritated. This one is I feel irritated all the time. Now me as Cyan, I don't feel irritated all the time. I actually just feel super sad all the time in the headspace and outside the headspace. It's like, I'm, of course, I'm not as strong when I don't get a chance to front and express myself. But um, the thing about the irritation, that really is lying on red. Red and magenta are the ones feeling super irritated right now. All right, the next one is I have lost all of my interest in other people. And I did put that. That's number three. That's the worst one. Because I have, I've really lost all my interest in other people, even people in the DID community um, that I started friendships with. I've really lost all interest in all of that because I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I am strong enough to be able to not compare myself with them. And so if they tell me their story and I'm not understanding or I'm not relating to them. I feel like a really crappy friend and, and I might say the wrong thing or, or respond the wrong way or just not be present in the conversation. I've just lost a lot of interest. Now, of course, that's not saying that other noodles might not reach out and have conversations with other DID members, but I have no interest in it and I think it's because I'm depressed. 
Okay, so next one, number 13, is about decisions. I put the roast one again. I can't make decisions at all anymore. That's not uncommon when you have DID. It's really hard to make decisions. And I don't think I have DID because mine's so different. I don't know what I have. And that's why I thought it was OSDD. And, and, and me, I don't know what other noodles think, but me, I don't know what it is. And I don't want to pretend like I know. But I do know there's something wrong. And so we've been working on this all day. We wrote a letter and we've been thinking about it and we've been trying to we've been we've been almost we've almost reached for the radio to trigger a better noodle to come forward or just at least to cheer us up. We wanted to get cheered up, but before we did that we figured we'd take this thing real quick while we were in this headspace. Otherwise um, it might be hard to answer these later. Okay, so um Number 14 is about feeling attractive and stuff. We, we only chose number two. I feel there are permanent changes in my appearance that make me look unattractive. And I guess that's a little better than feeling like we're ugly. Like, I don't think I'm all that pretty. Um, oops. My hand fell asleep. Like, I don't think I'm all that pretty, but I don't think I'm ugly. Like, I, I, I wouldn't go as far as being that cruel to our body but um I do feel like I've gained a lot of weight that make me appear that, that makes me appear more unattractive and then there's also been changes to my hair that I don't care for um yeah that's just me though other noodles might disagree all right and then we have my appetite is not as good as it used to be that's only as one which is interesting because I'm eating I'm eating worse which is, is my overeating, um, yeah, I've got a thing, hold on, my husband interrupted me, yeah, you notice that, I'm the one that calls him my husband, why, because he's my burden, and I'm the one that feels like he's mine to feel the most affected by him, I guess. No. Go lay down. Lay down. You wanted in here. You cried to come in here. Now you can lay down. The next question is number 15. It's um, talking about pushing myself hard to do anything. That's, that's number two on the depression inventory. Um, I selected on the next question, I selected one for the sleep question that I don't sleep as well as I used to because I do sleep and I am not getting very good sleep, but I do, I do, I guess it's not as bad. So that's why I only selected the first one, not the first one, but the one after that. I'll log into my computer right now. I have a meeting that's supposed to start and we're having internet issues. Alright, um, the next one after this was... I'm too tired to do anything. That's the worst one on there. That's number three. And that's true. And that was true before I hurt my leg. And that was true before COVID. I've always been too tired to do anything. Number 18 is one, my appetite is not as good as it used to be, which is interesting because again, they're, they're expecting me to have no appetite, whereas I'm overeating. Number 19 um, is about losing weight. So I've selected zero because I have not lost much weight, if at all. I know I did at first when I first moved into this bedroom in April. I think I lost like 10 pounds. Not trying at all. I didn't realize I was not. Um, that I wasn't eating. But I thought I was. I don't know what happened. But I gained it all back. I gained it all back in my stress. It was I stress, was stress eating. Alright. Um, number 20. 
I am worried about my physical problems like aches, pains, st upset stomach, and constipation. That's the number one. Like, I, I, I selected that answer because I am slightly worried because I hurt my leg and I am worried about, um, stomach issues and stuff like that. So I'm trying to watch what I eat and things like that, but I'm not overly stressed about it. It's not a comorbidity, um, thing. And number 21, I have lost interest in sex completely. That's number three on the scale. That's the worst one. So yeah, if that gives you any clue at all on um, what's going on with me. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it. I was going to talk about my doubts about the noodles and how I think this is just what happens when you have a lot of emotional abuse. You kind of just search for answers and you're not really sure what you're doing anymore. So yeah. Uh, I might take a nap because I'm really tired and I don't have to work, but I do have a meeting that I was invited to and I was thinking about attending the meeting. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.